Hello and welcome to the future. I want to introduce you to Dr. Samuel Holtzman. What does he do? Basically, he teaches teachers how to teach better. I asked Dr. Holtzman to come to Blind because uh, I was hoping that the team would learn how to talk to clients being empathetic. A good designer knows how other people feel and can relate to them and see the world from a different point of view. I hope you enjoy the series. Chris didn't give very much away in the introduction. It means yeah. I get to have a little bit of fun. So uh, we'll just start off with a quick question. What do you think of when you see me? You're young. What do you see that makes you say that? Uh, and thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you think of when you see me has nothing to do with me and everything to do with each of you. Now, I do have glasses and thick ones, which means I see the world through a certain set of lenses. Beside the glasses themselves, it's also my experience, the way I look at things, the way I approach them. This all adds up to my conceptual framework. When we're thinking about working with clients and within a company and an organization, we start adding more of these filters and lenses. Specifically in terms of the brand, it's a icon which is out there which you all tend to play with and work within and that's one of these sort of shared structures that everybody in an organization plays with becomes something that's in common between everybody. So you have the individual, you've got the shared brand and identity. On the other side, you've got a client. They're coming at this through a set of filters also which is their conceptual framework from their brand, from their company, which is also their expectations. And this is where the idea of facilitation really comes in because what you need to do is try to figure out what they have in terms of expectations, what they're looking at for criteria, what they want and expect from whatever this project is and whatever you're producing. The easiest way to do that is criterion driven. To get them to define maybe four or five things that they're really expecting in terms of criteria. It's usually this thing where I think it's a fear-based uh, conference call. So we get on a conference call and the fear is to sound stupid. Yes. Yep. So nobody on the other team wants to sound stupid because there's always somebody who's going to judge you. So they, there's almost this mentality of like, we're, we're going to just beat you guys down kind of thing. And so we're stepping into a slightly neutral to hostile environment. So help us develop a set of tools to elicit what we need to establish that criteria. So you start off with very large, broad ones. Okay. What are you looking to get out of this from the client side? Are you looking for us to produce a short film for you? Are you looking for a set of images that you can use, uh, printed graphic and online? So one of the concepts is actually starting big, narrowing down to a specific and then drilling back out to a big. Narrowing down to a specific and then drilling back out to a big. And that lets you frame that little space that you can start to play in. If you guys start Diving too quickly into this final project, the image of what you can produce without getting a sense of these criteria from the client, then it becomes something that gets too far away from their original intentions. It's moving too quickly towards your conceptual framework, pulled too fast out of theirs. So this really becomes a back and forth conversation where the idea of some of these open-ended but pretty specific questions which can often start off with I statements. I'm able to produce something like this, or I've done things like this in the past. Is that what you're looking for? That's an easier question for someone to answer than just the, tell me what you expect out of this. Tell me how you're going to use this. Because often, they may not know. They're looking at a finished product at some point and going, oh, we can use that in a lot of different ways. They're expecting you guys to produce that, though. I think one of the things that I really got from working with Dr. Holtzman at Art Center was about how I can basically extract what's in my head and share it with a group of people so that we're kind of looking at the problem in the same way. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And stay tuned for the next episode.